Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. Today we will take a look at a very important part of the gameplay. And it is how to get most of your gameplay time. Uh, in 10 quick and easy tips, uh, we will take a look at things like uh, how to effectively spend time in the game, how to maximize and and as much points, experience, reputation and credits, uh, how to speed up commando training, uh, how to and gold and uh, how usefully spend time while you are waiting in the queue. Uh, this episode uh, may be especially useful for those uh, who just started to play the game. And um, if you are new for a tank zone channel, do not forget to subscribe. So, let's start. And I would like uh, to start with the fast victory of the day bonus. It is a simple bonus uh, which doubles your end experience uh, for a fast victory of a day. And it applies uh, for each of your vehicles uh, separately. That means um, if you uh, own, say, um, 10 vehicles in your garage, then uh, you can play with each of uh, them, uh, get uh, the first uh, victorious game and uh, get a bonus 10 times. Worth to mention it again uh, that this bonus can be used only once per day per each vehicle. Uh, so, therefore, uh, if you like to maximize your rewards and uh, speed up in-game progression, then I strongly suggest uh, you swap between vehicles and play with those vehicles that uh, have uh, unused uh, day fast victory bonus. Tip number two. Play a PvE special operations and again, preferably with uh, the vehicles that have uh, unused fast victory of the day bonuses. On top of that, uh, PvE special operations, uh, uh, which come in a series uh, that have uh, to be completed in a, a specific order, award uh, unique rewards uh, such as uh, camouflages, uh, reputation, uh, credits uh, or players' uh, avatars. Uh, plus, uh, you earn experience, reputation and credits uh, while you completing those missions. So, yes, uh, it is worth uh, uh, to play them and uh, it is great fun as well. Additionally, check with which uh, vehicle types uh, you should complete them uh, to pick appropriate vehicle from your garage, um, get those missions completed faster and uh, get your rewards as fast as possible. Next tip number three. Armored Warfare offers uh, so-called special uh, contract missions as well that can be completed with a uh, tier 3 or high vehicles. I strongly suggest uh, taking a look uh, at them and trying uh, to complete um, contract missions uh, to get rewards. Uh, usually the main reward is a premium vehicle, uh, plus on top of that um, the contract is uh, divided in parts. In each part you should uh, complete different tasks with uh, small rewards in a form of um, a supply crates. These contract uh, submissions include tasks uh, which can be completed either with the any vehicle or only uh, say with mechanized infantry. So uh, and uh, therefore uh, keeping a couple of vehicles in your garage that are uh, capable of carrying mechanized infantry is a very wise decision. Uh, tip number four. Uh, how to progress your command fast. If you prefer you can assign your uh, command to the premium uh, vehicle. Uh, premium vehicles and 20% more experience uh, plus uh, these vehicles and 100% more credits. Uh, so uh, for faster commander progression place them on a premium vehicles. Uh, additionally I strongly suggest using uh, available uh, boosts, insignias and activate premium time. Uh, and again, uh, you can um, win boosts, insignias and premium uh, time uh, by completing a contract and 
special operation missions. So uh, as you can see, it is all interconnected. Uh, number five, um, if possible, pick the time of a day when on your server, depending on your location, uh, there are uh, the most players online. More players uh, mean uh, the game potentially will last longer. Longer time spent in the battle means uh, you have more chances uh, to hit the targets, spot, drive and so on. And uh, that increases your chances uh, to earn more experience, reputation, credits and of course completing contract missions uh, as you go. So yes, timing is very important. Uh, if you have no choice uh, but to play in hours uh, when there are not so many players online, uh, which will of course increase waiting time and um, will make smaller uh, player versus uh, player teams, uh, you can uh, go for a player versus environment mode instead as an alternative. Uh, tip uh, number six. Try to stay alive as long as possible. Uh, time spent in a game increases your experience and and even if your vehicle is hardly damaged, uh, you still are able uh, to retaliate. Uh, personally, I've been uh, nearly destroyed by opponents uh, while uh, deploying mechanized infantry at the very beginning of a game numerous times, but uh, preserving my vehicle running allowed me to retreat uh, perform sniping duties uh, from a distance and then uh, join the hunt for an uh, opponent's team leftovers uh, during the uh, second part of the match, uh, therefore earning quite uh, good points and experience. Uh, so uh, preserving your vehicle running is very, very important in this game. Uh, suggestion uh, number seven. Uh, if possible, uh, play every day. And there is a reason why. It's not only will keep your skills sharp, it will allow you uh, not only to progress and complete uh, contract missions faster, but it will allow you to earn daily game server bonuses as well. Right now daily bonuses are as follow. First day uh, 20k credits, uh, second day um, uh, 1 gold supply crate, third day uh, 500 global reputation, uh, fourth day uh, 1 day premium time, fifth day um, 100,000 uh, credits, uh, sixth day uh, 1 platinum uh, supply crate and seventh day 100 gold. Yes, 100 gold if you play 7 days in a row and after that all these counters uh, will uh, uh, switch, uh, if we can say so, to zero and you will start from first day again. So uh, every 7th consecutive day uh, you will uh, be rewarded with 100 gold if you play every day. So those bonuses you get every consecutive day, no matter your gameplay success as well. Only thing you should do is to enter the server. Uh, but uh, if you skip one day, then unfortunately next uh, time when you will enter server, it will count as a day one. Uh, so all will start from the beginning. Therefore, it is worth uh, it to be an active player every day. So yes play every day and add more bonuses. Tip number eight. Uh, it's small tip. How to win gold by doing literally nothing. Say, uh, while you are in the waiting queue or before entering the game, uh, you can go uh, to my game's uh, client window and um, uh, choose to watch an ad uh, to get rewards. Um, uh, most of the time rewards are sticker gifts, uh, but sometimes uh, in the uh, form of a gold as well. Uh, so um, watch the ads for a chance to get gold. Uh, go to your inventory and uh, open an ad. And if you are lucky, go to your inventory and then uh, activate a received gold bonus. Tip number nine. 
if you purchase uh, game gold then consider participate and use scavenger run events uh, where you are able to add a major bonus uh, to your uh, next gold purchase and finally comprehensive tip number 10 how to use your time wisely and effectively while you are in the waiting queue. This time can be spent in numerous ways depending on personal preferences. You can go prepare a cup of tea, listen to music or take a nap or whatever. But if we talk about the usefulness in the game terms, then I suggest a couple of useful options. Uh, you can say do a reading about a certain vehicle in a game client or a armored warfare wiki page uh, to prepare yourself uh, for the next battles uh, to get more knowledge etc uh, or uh, say familiarize uh, with a certain vehicle stats and the parameters um, uh, check out the uh, armor calculator and thing things like that uh, go through um, in your head about uh, say tactics uh, suitable for a vehicle you are currently in a queue uh, way out uh, and analyze uh, previous games uh, mistakes or um, research vehicle tag tree uh, compare vehicles and make decisions uh, for the next purchases uh, review your uh, vehicles retrofits commanders uh, crew skills and and even ammunition you're using review your uh, progress uh, regarding uh, certain uh, missions completion and watch ads in a game client and get rewards it may sound like nothing but um, all the small things matter when they compile together and uh, start to make a bigger picture so these are 10 tips uh, personally for me uh, that's uh, how i use my uh, time in a game and uh, maybe they can help you to improve your uh, gameplay or uh, maximize benefits uh, gained from uh, your time in a game so uh, that would be all for today i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you like this video as always smash thumbs up button hit the bell and subscribe thank you uh, for watching and following tank zone you are great support have a wonderful day and see you next time.